Hey, we're gonna try and do something that's probably going to get me a lot of feedback. We're gonna try and recreate a full English breakfast here in the USA. I just returned back from my two and a half weeks inside of the UK, and I've had a lot of food over there. Now, what I can say is the full English is probably one of my favorite things. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find any black pudding, but I have had a bit of an issue finding the right bacon and the right beans. So we're gonna go inside the store and see if we can find a comparable. I normally don't shop at Publix because it's significantly higher than pretty much every other supermarket or market here, but they have a British aisle. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we're on the international food aisle to see what they got for the UK. Okay, so we are here at the British section. Now they've got chocolate digestives. They've got different candies, which this isn't anywhere close to the amount of candy that we had over there. They've got the Mars bars. They've got the right beans. They have the right beans. So our full English is not going to be disappointed. I'm buying me some HP sauce. Like, they have everything that I miss. I'm gonna buy some Marmite. We'll try Marmite in this episode because I didn't get to do it while I was in the UK. And my most favorite, 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 Iron Brew! They have it. It's $2 a bottle, which actually isn't that bad. And they even have some black currant there. So, not a bad section here at Publix for the British section. And, uh, let me know in the comments, should I use this to try and make some Yorkie puddings or should I try and do it at home? Let me know. Okay, so I scoured all of this bacon and none of it is the right bacon, especially not turkey bacon. That's not real bacon. If you're gonna eat turkey bacon, just don't eat bacon at all. But they don't have any back cut, so I've got streaky bacon at home, we'll use that. And I've got some little sausages that we're gonna use. So now we just gotta get some tomato some bread and let's go home and cook this thing up. I don't know what bread you guys use and we probably don't have it anyway. So I'm gonna use my favorite bread, which is bunny bread. And you can't get this everywhere. Um, you know how many states they have it in? I know for sure Tennessee, but it's one of my favorite breads. And whenever I make a BLT for you guys, it has to be bunny bread. All right, today we're gonna be attempting to make a full English to the best of our ability until I can find the exact ingredients. We're gonna start this thing out with a little brew. You guys know I love my iron brew. Now this is the American bottle that I bought. Just look at that glorious, glorious iron brew. So we have that, got our iron brew here. Ah. Tastes just the same. That's a good problem, that's a good problem. We also picked up some HP sauce or brown sauce for folks that don't know. And then we actually got the Heinz beans as you guys saw when I went to Publix. Now I have some mushrooms, some breakfast sausage, and then this is our streaky bacon, uh, as you guys call it. I couldn't find any other bacon, but I actually bought this from my local butcher. So really good bacon, we'll throw that in there. We've got our toast and some butter, some eggs and some tomatoes. So the only thing left to do is to cook this puppy. Okay, so as you guys know, I live in the South. I live in Tennessee. And you might be wondering what this is. Well, if you find any real Southerner, they've probably got a jar or a bottle of bacon grease, bacon lard, sitting next to their stove. Now when you cook bacon, you get all that, that grease. We save that and we use that to cook later. And let me tell you, Okay, so first thing we're gonna cook is the links. Now I'm not gonna make this entire pack because I'm not gonna be eating this entire pack. I'll probably just do about three. And because I'm not picky, also I did wash my hands for all those, he didn't wash his hands. I washed them, chill. Okay, so we're gonna cook our sausages first, then we're gonna cook our bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the meat knocked out. And then we're gonna work on the toast and the eggs. I don't like cold eggs, so I'm probably gonna do the eggs last. And then I need to get the beans on the stove because I like warm beans. And a huge part of a full English is definitely the beans and I'm glad that we got the right beans. Now when I went to the UK, I figured out that your guys' beans are a lot different than our beans. So take a look at that. You can kind of see it's almost like a tomato-y sauce. Or is it? With tomato sauce, it is. So let's go ahead and get these on. Get them warming up. Come on, baby. 
Give me them beans. Oh yeah, give me them beans. Give me them beans. I like the way the beans beans. Let me get a, a spoon just to grab these extras. Okay, so we're gonna let these kind of heat up just so they're nice and warm for our toast. And now the sausage is finally starting to heat up and cook. We got our sausages cooking up over here. We're gonna let these get cooked. I'm enjoying a little... Ah, wow. Okay, I haven't touched this thing and it's... <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Look, look. It's got a mind of its own. We, we got the, the full trio doing the dance. That is so cool. I've never had sausages do that like that. The little things in life. Literally. Alright, so our little sausages are done. We're going to go ahead and throw them on the plate. Alright. And now we got to get our bakey bake going. So let's rip open this bacon. Some good wrap. That smells so good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that bacon. My, 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 my. That's a big old piece of bacon. Okay, so our bacon over here is getting crispy. This is a new pan, and it actually works a lot better than my old one. But this bacon's gonna be nice and crispy, honey. I like the crunch in the bacon, which is a lot different than the back bacon of the UK, but I love my streaky bacon. So the next phase of this is we have to do our tomatoes. Get that little part out of there. Okay, so from what I've read here, we just got a halfer. Okay, there's one. Let's get this little part out. Okay, so we got our tomato halves there. I'm gonna I'm gonna put our tomatoes and mushrooms in the same pan probably because I'm gonna season them up the same way. Um, I don't know if that's how you guys do it over there. It's kind of my style anyway, but let's, uh, let's throw them on. So as you guys know, again, I'm from the South. I told you, bacon grease. We've got some bacon grease in here from the bacon that we just cooked. And it actually adds really good flavor to anything you cook it in. And I don't mind having a little bacon flavor on the tomatoes or the mushrooms. So we're going to try that out. And uh, I'm going to add a little pepper. Just to everything here. I might have to do a little splash of oil or a little bit more bacon grease. But uh, I think it's going to be tasty. We got a little pepper, a little salt on everything, and then I'll flip everything and then re-season again. Okay, so as I told you guys, every time I cook bacon, I save the grease for a moment like this. It's just going to add more flavor to the tomatoes and the mushrooms, and uh, I'm officially making this my way. <laughs> okay, so we've got these going with the bacon grease, just a little black pepper, some salt, really easy. I don't want to over season it by any means and I think we'll get that extra flavor from the bacon grease. But we're cooking up the tomatoes right now and the only thing we'll have left to have for this meal would be the eggs and the toast. Okay so our tomatoes are done. So we're going to pull these off. Okay, so we've got our bunny bread here. We'll throw this in the toaster, get that toasted up while I cook the eggs. And again, I also cook my eggs in 
bacon grease. I have cooked a lot of eggs in my day. And I will tell you the secret to a really good egg is lower heat. But these new pans are so hot, I don't know that I'm gonna be getting that. It's weird having pans that actually work, huh, Savannah? We'll do these over easy, we won't fry these both sides. Just a little salt and pepper. We'll let these get cooked up and then we're gonna plate this bad boy. But I'm excited, this looks pretty good. It looks better than the first one I had over in the UK at that cafe I went to that was not very good. So, doing pretty good I guess. Okay, so we had to heat up our butter a little bit because it was in the fridge. So we're buttering our toast now, and then we just got to add our beans, and then we can try this puppy out. So first thoughts, I did a pretty good job. I'm not going to blow my own horn yet, but the first thing we're going to try is uh, the toast and the beans. Now the beans should taste just like they did in the UK because it's the Heinz beans that I was having. But let's go for it. Oh wow. Mm. I really do like it on our bunny bread. Beans and toast is banging. Okay. Now I'm gonna apply a few condiments. We got some brown sauce here. Some HP sauce we got at the store. We're just gonna give everything a little HP sauce drizzle. And then I'm gonna add on some ketchup and I've been missing hot sauce ever since I left home. So for kicks and giggles, we're going to throw on some scorpion pepper hot sauce because I love hot sauce and I put hot sauce on pretty much everything. Quick sip of the brew. All right, here we go. Let's just start breaking it all up. Good runny yolk there. Those mushrooms, get the tomato. This is all looking very delicious, if I do say so myself. Let's just make us a bite here. Oh man. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm not trying to blow my own horn, but the taste of this is pretty close. I actually think this one's probably better than the first that I had at that cafe that just wasn't very good. And, uh, mm. I love crispy bacon so much. Okay, let's make another bite here. Again, we've got our egg, our mushrooms. Let's actually put that on top of the toast with the beans. and see how that shakes out. Oh no, oh no. Mushroom. Don't go, mushroom. No. Hey, I'm back home, so I don't want any culinary comments. The 
that's banging. That is freaking delicious. Again, we've got one of our, our sausages here. We'll run that through our little sauce egg yolk mixture. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So let me know what you guys think. I did as good as I could probably do with what we have here. In terms of finding that back bacon, I gotta talk to my butcher, see what I can do. But the beans were spot on and uh, the whole flavor mixture tastes how it should. So I'm proud of this. Let me know what you guys think. What do you want me to try and cook next? So overall, I think I did a pretty good job. I think what would make the biggest difference, obviously if I could get black pudding, as well as getting back bacon instead of the streaky bacon, but I'm proud of what we put out today. And normally when I do food reviews, I don't eat all the food. But if you guys can't tell, I ate all the food and it was delicious. If there's anything else that you guys want me to do, try or cook, please let me know down in the comment section. That's the best way to get a hold of me. But this was delicious. I can't wait to cook the next meal for you guys. We'll see ya.